So here we are today just outside of Dresden and we are about to climb up to one of the biggest vehicles ever built. In fact, I think it's the biggest movable vehicle ever built. So we're going to be climbing up here, having a look. The thing is absolutely massive. I've seen it in photos and I don't think in the video you can really see how big this is. But it is massive. And I'm terrified of heights, so this should be fun. So we're about to walk on top of this machine. So we're part of a tour group at the moment, so I'm trying not to film many people. So sorry I'm not doing too much talking in this video, um, I am terrified of heights so, and I'm also holding a camera in my hand so I'm going to subtitle everything. And we go higher and higher. And this is the reservoir which um, basically the digger cut out see the massive scale of it. And that's where we came in. So basically the, the tour guide was telling us this was where the conveyor belt was. And that's basically where all the coal would be just conveyed across and then shot out the other side. Um, he was also saying that the, uh, the digger was actually, it actually used to be much bigger, um, but they reduced the weight for stability reasons, I think he said, and to make it easier for people to visit. So we're just basically following the path of the conveyor belt. So the guy was telling us this would move at about 40 kilometers an hour, shifting dirt and moving the whole time. And he was saying it would sort out sand and coal automatically into two different piles. big this machine is, is is just amazing it's very hard to translate that in a video just how big it is but it's uh, it's quite eye-opening we're actually quite lucky it's supposed to be raining today it looks quite light still as we were talking about earlier these are the the wheels that were on the track and 
this basically moved the whole machine over and this was a conveyor belt that uh, took away the material or one of them he was saying there's one of two one on each side that sorted out the bad material and the good material uh, it's a little bit cramped here 